soft velocity. We have our new application and it looks fantastic. Because Creon is that way, we can make beautiful applications. But one thing that I'm going to be missing is the ability to click on the header and sort the browse according to the header. Descending, ascending. On H5, I cannot do that. I, there is no way I can do that. And I would like to have that capability for H5, so my users will be happy. I want to be able to click on the headers. I will use data tables. It is a plugin for jQuery. Let's download the files. This is very important. You will see why. We will use jQuery 2. Styling. We will use Bootstrap because H5 is based on Bootstrap and, well, I would like to have a consistent user interface. I will not need the styling library because I already have Bootstrap inside my H5 application. Minify and as a single file. And I don't need the zip file, I just want to click on this. And this is the CSS file. I need that file inside my app broker folder. Let's make an empty file. I am going to name it data tables CSS. Let's open the, the file with Atom, okay? The, I will now copy this text to the empty file and I will save it. Now we need the script itself. And I will make an empty file inside my scripts folder. Let's use the same name. With a different extension, of course. There we go. Of course, it is an empty file. I will do the same. I will copy this and paste it into that empty file. Yes, I can use the links and load everything from the internet, but if I am not giving my users access to the internet, it will never work because I won't be able to contact the servers serving those files. I want everything to be local. So, I have everything inside the proper folders. It is time to modify the skeleton. I am going to add that below my other scripts. Of course, it didn't work because the application is running. Let's shut it down. Let's save the file again. 
and let's run this. Let's build it. Of course, here it is working because it was already working. But in H5, we need to see what happened. I still don't have that ability. I cannot click on the headers. We will activate that in a short moment. Let's inspect the elements. Data tables will use the ID to extend the capabilities of the table. So, it is browse one underscore one. We will need that information so we can properly initialize data tables. Let's go back to the documentation. According to the data tables documentation, it is very easy. We can see the example there. We will need this. We will add the code here after everything has been loaded and at the end of the page. So, Remember the ID I told you about, browse underscore one? Well, we will use it to initialize data tables. Now I can sort everything clicking on the headers. Of course, I, if I have a large data set, I can filter the number of entries that I can display at the same time. Uh, we can disable that and we will do it in... Uh, we will do that on a second chapter. And also, as a bonus, I have a local search. By local search, I mean I will be able to search what's on display. Now let's try this on a responsive design mode. And as you can see, it works properly. It reacts very well to a different screen size.